Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a long overdue updated what's in my bag tag. So I just recently picked up this bag a couple of weeks ago when Hot Look was having a flash sale with Mark by Mark Jacobs and I haven't been able to find this bag online since because I think they're trying to phase out Mark by Mark Jacobs and they're just trying to keep it as Mark Jacobs. But this is the 48 inch Metro Politote leather Tote. So this is all leather. It's 48 inches. It's black with a little bit of beige detailing I love the size of this because it fits my laptop and I have a 15 inch MacBook with retina display And if I want to take that around with me, it's huge It's kind of hard to fit in things But it fits perfectly in this bag Which is awesome because if I ever want to go out to edit somewhere or go somewhere to study I don't want to carry it in my hand with me. I'd rather put it in my bag So it fits perfectly in here and I love that about this bag So I'm just gonna go ahead and start pulling things out of here so I know a lot of people start off by telling you that they keep their phone in their bag. I don't. Typically my phone is in my hands at all time. But I have the iPhone 6 in gold and I have this 64 gigabyte one and the case that I have on it is the Lumi phone case. If you guys want to see what's on my iPhone and how I edit my Instagram pictures, I do have a video on that and I will leave it in the description box below if you're interested. So the next thing in here is just this little notebook. I honestly don't even know where it's from. My mom gave it to me. And this is where I write down all of my ideas for YouTube videos and stuff like that, things I'm planning on filming. I also like to jot down products that I am grabbing a lot that month so that I have a list of things that I want to add in my favorites videos. I have wish lists for products that I wanna buy. Anything like that goes in this notebook. And this is either with me in my bag or it's on my desk because I'm usually writing in it. The next thing in here is my camera. I actually just got this one recently and I got this case. It's like a little neoprene case on Amazon and I'll link it below. But this is the Sony A5000. I know a lot of people here on YouTube use the A5100 and it has a screen that flips upward. This one does not, it just kind of rotates. But the quality of this camera is actually better than the A5100. I had the A5100, I didn't really like it. I felt like it wasn't good for both taking pictures and taking vlog footage. I just found that all of my footage became very shaky and this camera right here, the A5000, actually has a built in stabilizer in the lens so it's great also for some reason my a5100 when I was using it with the standard lens it made my face look very fish-eyed in photos and I didn't like that so I have to go out and buy another lens and then I would have to switch between the two because one of them didn't have a zoom on it but this one for some reason it has the same standard lens but it doesn't look as weird in photos like it doesn't distort my face so I'm really 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 liking the quality of this camera if you guys want to see footage from it my Mother's Day vlog was all filmed with this camera and the footage is so HD, it's ridiculous. The next thing in here is just my car keys and the keychain that I have on it is from Michael Kors. It's the studded leather tassel keychain, but it's from a while ago. I don't know if they still have it. After that, we have my wallet in here. This is just a Marc Jacobs wallet. It's pretty standard. This was my first designer thing ever that I've ever purchased. I've had it for almost three years now and I love it. I don't think I'll ever get another wallet unless this one starts to seriously start ripping, but it's in such good condition after three years. I don't think I'm ever gonna need to get a new one. I hope that I don't ever lose it or anything like that, but I love this wallet. It fits everything in it perfectly and it's just, it's lasted so well. After three years, it still looks brand new. Great quality. The next thing in here is a hand cream. This one is by the brand Onsen and it's the Modern Hand Lotion Hydrate and Protect. So this hand cream is supposed to have protection against UV rays. So if your hands are exposed to the sun while you're driving or you're out and about, this is actually protecting your skin from sun damage, which is great because I feel like your hands and your neck are the first thing to kind of show your true age. So it's really good to protect them. It also quickly absorbs into the skin. You don't get that oily, greasy feeling on the hands, which I hate and a lot of hand creams do that. This one doesn't, it's awesome, I'm obsessed. So the next thing in here is my typical everyday emergency kit that has like a bunch of stuff in here that I might need. So inside of here, this is just like a clear case. I got it as a freebie when I got a mascara from Giorgio Armani. Um, I just have a little thing of Advil in here because you never know when you're going to need Advil. I also have some Midol and Benadryl because I get allergy attacks all the time. I don't even know what happens, but I just like break out in hives. So I always need Benadryl just in case. And then I also have just like some other tablets just in case. I have an Aquaphor. This is one of my favorite lip therapies and I have this one in here. I usually have two in my bag. One of them is in here just in case I forget to throw a second one in my bag. I have a pen because I used to not carry a pen 
but I always needed a pen, so now I carry a pen. I have a hand sanitizer in here. This one is the Orchid Scent CVS hand sanitizer. <laughs> I have a pack of gum. This is the extra long lasting polar ice. I usually don't even eat a full stick at a time. I rip it in half and I only have half a piece, but this is my favorite flavor of gum. And I like that this gum doesn't get all rubbery for a while. Like it takes a while to feel like you're chewing on an elastic band, unlike other brands of gum that you chew for five seconds and it feels like you're chewing a rubber band. I have a little mini compact mirror in here. This one is from Sephora. And then I also have a little card holder that has my business cards in it. Next I have another little pouch. I like to keep this bag very organized in pouches because, I don't know, I feel like for one, if it falls over, you don't want a bunch of things spilling out everywhere and this makes it easier to find the thing that you're looking for. So this just has a bunch of feminine products in it. Just in case of an emergency, I always carry around a spare pair of underwear and then obviously all of your other girly needs. Next we have a pack of gum, also polar ice, just floating around in the bottom of my bag and a, another little emergency kit. So this one I put in here when I'm going on a longer day excursion, maybe if I'm traveling. This just has more stuff that I might need in here. The other one's like a day-to-day -day thing, but this one's good for traveling. So in here, when I'm traveling, I like to keep a little mini bottle of Vaseline because for me personally, I don't know if this happens to anybody else, but when I fly, my nose tends to get extremely dry and it becomes painful to actually like breathe in and out of my nose because it's so dry, it feels like it's gonna start bleeding. So I like to take a little bit of Vaseline and I put it inside of my nose and it helps a lot. So I always keep this in here when I'm traveling. This is also great if your lips get really chapped in flights. This is amazing to heal that as well. I like to keep a couple of band-aids in here because I don't know, you might need a band-aid. I keep a little mini L'Occitane hand cream. I don't really like this one, but I keep it in here just in case I don't bring another one with me. I also have more Benadryl and I have a little pack of Listerine strips. I also like to keep a pack of tissues in here because you know, you always need tissues when you're on planes for some reason. And then I also like to keep a little mini pack of face cleansing wipes. These one are the Ola Hendrickson Clean Truth Cleansing Cloths. These are cleansing, so they cleanse, brighten, and hydrate. These are great, I like to keep them in here just in case I want to freshen up my face or if I want to remove any makeup I'm wearing, I have this in here. And the last thing is just a little mini thing of oil absorbing sheets. These are the CVS brand and I just keep them in here just in case as well. Okay, so next in here, I carry around a pack of wet ones because, I don't know, just you never know when you're gonna need to clean your hands or clean anything or if anything spills on you. You just always gotta be prepared, you know? And then in here we have so many receipts. My goodness. There's a million over here. I'm just, I'm not even gonna go through them because they're probably all from CVS. <laughs> At the bottom of my bag, I have two lip products. This is the MAC lipstick in the shade Cherish. This is like my favorite everyday nude shade because it doesn't have a pink undertone, it's just a true nude. And this right here is the Kate Moss by Rimmel London. I know in my video I kept saying Kate Somerville for some reason, but this is the Kate Moss Lip Therapy that came out recently with Rimmel and it's just a great like hydrating lip balm that I like to keep in my bag. And then I have a business card of my new dentist, a gum wrapper, and then the little pouch that comes with the purse. So this actually attaches and detaches to the purse. And I like to keep a pair of sunglasses in here. So I just kind of like put them in here and then I always have a pair of sunglasses with me. But that is everything that is in this bag, you guys. It's huge. It has a cute little snap right here also. So it's not completely open, by the way. And I love it. The bag itself is very, very light. So you can put a whole bunch of stuff in it and it doesn't feel that heavy. So I guess that's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And let me know in the comments below if you guys keep any essential things in your purses, maybe something weird or something that you use all the time. I'm dying to know what you guys keep in your bag in case of emergencies or anything like that, so let me know. So that is it, that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.